now that we finished the work at, at the tenant's location, we're going to close the work order. Um, so I'm going to log in as a maintenance personnel, look at my work orders that I've been assigned to. So myself as a maintenance person, as a plumber, I noticed that I had, I had to do this work, and I, and I did. So I'm going to edit the work order now. I can put in some private notes. For example, needed more time on site, whatever the case may be. Um, the completed date will be time stamped by the system automatically to the minute. Same with the close date. Um, so we see down here, we'll just go into my resource here. So this is me here and I can just put in, I worked, I was on site for three and a half hours, oh, not 300 hours, three and a half hours. And I'll go back up here and complete the work order. Notice I cannot close the work order. I'm an internal maintenance person working for your, the company. So I, I can only complete work orders and I'll just click on that. Another note needs to be done. Took longer than expected. That will go down in, into my history. And if I look at my work orders, you will notice um, two things that happened. It went from green to orange, so it's completed. It's not closed. Closed means brown. So I, the maintenance uh, person, did complete this work. The system also sent an email to the tenant saying the work has been completed and also to the company administrator uh, notifying them that they need to close off this work order now.